why do neckbeards always put it in like National Geographic terms? I want to breed my mate. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up! Please, thank you, <laughs> etc. Today we're diving into r slash neckbeard stories. It is the continuation of the Chris Trucker saga, part number eight. My god, Mommy Honker Donk is out here doing the most. I appreciate you, bro. Day number three of no smoking for me. So hopefully this will uh, be able to bring some serotonin back into my system. I am so <laughs> on edge today. Uh, lashed out a little bit at the Twitch chat. But you know, that's just me being a human, I guess. I I'm quite contrite about it. Anger boils up. It's back down in five minutes. And then I feel bad about the thing that I did. But that's just how it be sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope that uh, this story will, will get my mind off of that. I hope that I won't lash out too hard at uh, Mommy Honker Donkers. We regularly lash out at Chris Trucker. I don't think I need to worry too much about that part, but <laughs> we're just going to see how it goes. The last one was super heavy. I don't know how it can be topped. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to buckle in and, and keep our fingers crossed that we can <laughs> power through. So let's get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some of this Neckbeard Stories uh, cringe. My co-pilot is a neckbeard number eight. Oh my god, it's gone on for so long already. Most of the best series are only nine parts. Honker Donker said that this could be as long as we want to make it. It's going on even to this day, so I, I'm so looking forward. I hope that Chris Trucker is longer than Unfortunate Nookie, honestly. And I hope that it ends with a, a bang, some big fireworks, the likes of which we ain't never seen yet. But I guess that all remains to be seen. So, hey there, gang. Hello, Red X. Hi, you Zamami Honka Donkas. <laughs> Finally got some more time to write, so without any further ado, let's talk about Chris. Yeah, that's generally what we do in these posts. You see, that's a neckbeard story done right. We actually talk about the neckbeard. Pizza Hut Beard OP? Velveeta Beard OP? Are you listening? <laughs> Are you paying attention? <laughs> uh, not to throw shade, but yeah, a little bit of shade, honestly. <laughs> so who is Chris? As if we didn't already know. Well, Chris is a very fat and sweaty man, surrounded by an impenetrable aura of poopy coom stinky stank. <laughs> Him and I <laughs> both work for a trunking company, a major one, and I must have won the lottery because Chris is my co-pilot. Forever co-pilot. <laughs> Chris has few loves in life, Instead, he is obsessed solely with lot lizards, meth, and anime. Ah, uh, yes, the big three, of course. <laughs> Things are usually okay when Chris is driving the truck. Usually. But when we have to change seats and I have to drive, that is when the fun really begins. <laughs> He compulsively fiddles with his wiener whenever he cleads up and demands that we pull over at every truck stop that we see so he can shower. Shower the drain with his splooge, that is. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. You ain't putting one past Bobby Hawker Dockers. He, he's been through the, the rigor at this point. He disappears into the night to find drugs. And syphilis. <laughs> syphilis. Uh, maybe that's his problem. Maybe syphilis has eaten his brain. <laughs> I've done everything in my power that I can think of to make him do better. To keep him in control. To make him just fucking stop. And it is always a struggle. And the real kicker? To this day, I still have to ride with Chris. <laughs> uh, yep, Mr. Bode's wild ride. The ride never ends. So, it was a hot summer day out there in Corpus Christi, Texas, 
and we had pulled into the truck stop hours ago after dropping off our shipment. With nothing to do until dispatch contacted us with a new load to haul, we were effectively parked for the day. How are you not like completely pissed off by the, the parking for the day? Do you get paid by the miles? Do you get a per diem while you're sitting around in a parking lot? It doesn't seem very fair, although from this story and the Kevin and the Big Rig stories, I guess I've learned that um, trucking companies aren't very fair and they don't give a single shit. But I do hope that you're making something while you're sitting in a parking lot. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. The engine idled while the AC ran on full blast and I sat mindlessly derping on my phone in the pilot seat. Yep, that's what we do these days. You'd think, with us stuck on layover in a truck stop hell, that Chris would have gone out and about to do his rounds. You know, seeking out meth-addled prostitutes by the scummy nondescript hotel next to the porn shop. <laughs> uh, oh, what a picture is painted. <laughs> but the humidity only made the heat relentless, and far too much for Chris. And so, the poopy cum man and I just lounged around in the truck, wasting the day away. Terrible. Honestly, I wish that the heat was just a little bit less, so the poopy cum man would get out of the truck and, and go walk around. I mean, it's probably going to be even worse when he comes back, but really, I don't want to be laying around, hanging around with, with this guy. Come on! <laughs> Let me get some solitude! Where the solitude! <laughs> What do we even have to talk about? <laughs> He's just gonna try and berate me about anime and things, how it's not cartoons. It's Afghanistan animation. <laughs> uh, things were quiet today though. Chris had already showered several times that day. God, dude, ugh. Maybe two or three times by that point to be precise. <laughs> He's got such a problem. He's got such an addiction. He needs to see a therapist, really. I don't have the tools to help him, but he needs to get some help. And he returned to the truck, absolutely gassed from crossing the parking lot in the swampy summer heat and the scorching hot sun. A boy that big? Yeah, he's gonna pass out in no time flat. <laughs> you can't leave him outside. He's gonna sweat right through his, uh, sweatpants. <laughs> And then he's just gonna lay down and die, and probably roll away. <laughs> I'm sure that after enough time, he would once more get up for another spanket session in the shower stalls, but he had hit a lull in his erections for the time being, and was content to hide away in the truck with me. Uh, I don't like that very much better. <laughs> Go live in the shower stall for a little while, Chris. Can I just <laughs> pretend that I'm alone? Pretend that my life is normal? Just for a minute, please and thank you. We didn't speak. Rather, I didn't speak to him. For the most part, anyways. Good things do not last forever, though. And Chris decided to break that blissful silence. Ugh, here we go. Honestly, you got any of those earplugs left? I'm gonna pop those earplugs back in and just try and pretend that I'm in this truck all by myself. Maybe invest in some AirPods, OP. I think that'd do you well. <laughs> Not while you're driving, but um, any other time where he might be trying to talk to you. Just avoid it in any way possible. Uh, hey, bro. Do you think you could take a photo of me? I could use some help. Oh, God. He's getting into OnlyFans, isn't he? <laughs> Chris Chuck are trying to make some extra scratch while they're parked. <laughs> uh, oh no, he's gonna scratch his itches on camera, is what I'm trying to say. No, no, I couldn't be paid enough for that. I don't want to help, Chris. F find somebody else to do it. <laughs> I mumbled back that he could take a photo of his damn self. We have that technology, you see. And his tone changed. Very quickly, whining and pleading followed. <laughs> Please! Well, I guess at least he asked nicely. It's just a regular photo? What you doing, Chris? What you about, Chris? <laughs> I opened up my camera app and snapped a quick photo. Showed it to him, 
deleted that scum off my phone and went back to what I was doing. <laughs> uh, I said, there, it's done. Now fuck off and don't bother me. He replied, no, not like that. He said he needed a good picture of himself. <sighs> well, a good picture of Chris is still an impossibility, but still, I was interested. Yeah, I mean, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> I'm quite interested in what he's going to do as well. If it's not OnlyFans, then what is it, Chris? <laughs> so I asked him, what is it for, Chris? Well, I guess the loneliness of his backwards life was finally getting to him. And his coom sessions with his cartoon waifu were no longer cutting it for him. Oh god, maybe you should buy a second pillow. And then he could do that thing again where he's like, Oh, you brought your sister? <laughs> uh, I don't remember what part that was in, but that shit fucking killed me, dude. So we got Twitch chat. Everybody in here is uh, theorizing that it's going to be dating photos. <laughs> But Danica wants it to be boudoir photos. <laughs> and I really want to see Chris Tucker take some boudoir photo. I mean, I don't really want to see it because God, what a terrible day to have eyes. But just the thought of the poopy coo man with a feather boa <laughs> stomping around going, eh, I feel pretty. <laughs> uh, oh God, what I would give. What I would give! <laughs> I wouldn't give anything. It would cost me everything. But for some reason, my brain still wants to see it. <laughs> so, he told me that he had started up a Tinder profile. Oh no. Chris, beware the Tinder girls! Don't do it! <laughs> or maybe do do it. There's probably some nice girls on Tinder, but... Now, there's one less nice man on Tinder. You think anybody really wants to date Chris, bro? <laughs> Come on now. Uh, redonkulous. I tried to hide my amusement as he explained that he decided to put himself out there and search for a mate. A mate. Oh, God. Why do, why do neckbeards always put it in, like, National Geographic terms? I want to breed my mate. <laughs> Just pump the brakes, bitch. Get past the first date first. How about that? <laughs> and that if his search was to be successful, he needed a good quality profile picture that the poopy coom man could use to lure whatever hapless victim he found into his clutches. Yeah, take a picture of uh, the poopy coom man laying out on a bearskin rug with his waifu pillow over his crotch, some toilet paper wrapped around his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some good quality boudoir photos, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> why do I want it so bad? I don't, but I do. I'm so torn. <laughs> this is just the masochist side of me talking. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably need more than just a good quality photo, though. Anyway, I repeated that he should just take a selfie and leave me alone, but he kept whinging and whining, saying that any selfie he took wouldn't be good enough. He wanted a profile picture that spoke to how cool he was. Those were his words, not mine, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks Chris is cool? I mean, kids think anime is cool, I guess, but kids don't think crystal meth is cool. Nobody thinks that crystal meth is cool, except for other people that smoke crystal meth. Lot lizards? I don't think anybody thinks those are cool either. So you've got like this trifecta of things that only certain populations will find cool. You've already narrowed your search down to about four women, and three of them are lot lizards. The last one's a leg beard. <laughs> and, and Lot Lizard on the side. <laughs> it's not gonna go well, Chris. Unless you're, like, lying 100% on this profile, <laughs> it's not going to go well. 
He wanted a profile picture that showed him for the man of action that he believed himself to be. Man of action? Bro, you too fat. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to just ignore him and go back to the stupid game that I was playing. Hey, Honka Dog, is you playing like a waifu game or something? You got some Genshin Impact on your phone over there? See, now I'm firebombing Honka Donkers. Why does it have to be like this? <laughs> I can't help myself today, goddammit. Uh, but my morbid curiosity started to get the better of me. All right, Chris. What'd you have in mind? <laughs> he should just go all in with it. You know, take a selfie and make his bio just say, You got a pretty mouth. <laughs> and then any chick that would actually respond to that, that's, that's probably the kind of chick that he's looking for, right? He was like a kid on Christmas morning, the moment that I started to humor him. Oh, yes. Just like a young, young lad with a brand new bag of meth. <laughs> He handed me his phone and practically sprang from out of his seat. The truck rocked with his exuberance as he rose, and he started talking about all the ideas he had for his profile picture. Why don't you take 12 photos and then we could do like a calendar sort of ordeal? Wouldn't that be fun, Chris? God, I would honestly buy the Chris Trucker <laughs> calendar. <laughs> I sort of want to see it, but again, I think that's my masochism talking. I would wake up, look at the calendar, and every day I would say, What a terrible day to have eyes. <laughs> he needed something that would convey to all the beautiful ladies that he was bound to be talking to that he was dashing and roguish in a trepid man of adventure. But, you know, still approachable and humorous. And he happened to have just the thing. I mean, he is extremely approachable. I don't find him too humorous. Although, I guess, you know, if she's in the same form of, like, suspended adolescence, maybe she could find some humor in what he's saying. Is he an intrepid man of adventure? No, I don't think so. I think he just happens to drive around for his job. <laughs> and that, that don't mean too much to me, honestly. How's he even gonna form a relationship with anybody if he's, like, moving around all the time? This is weird. This is gonna get really weird, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I just rolled my eyes. What the hell was Chris about to do? Was I going to regret this? I mean, probably. <laughs> but we had gone too far now. See, I love how, you know, OP and, and Chris have this back and forth, right? Some stories, they're friends. Other stories, they're mortal enemies. And that really is how it be with coworkers sometimes. That's why I believe this 100%. There's a lot of people in the, in the comments on the post that are like, I don't know if it's real or fake. I believe it, dude. This is like a human dynamic going on right now. <laughs> well, anyways, Chris had decided that he needed a prop. So he rumbled to the back of the cab and started digging around his bunk and his belongings. He was looking for something. With a triumphant, Aha! He turned around absolutely beaming. In his hands, he clutched a dapper fedora. Fit for the most magnificent of gentlemen. You had that in there the entire time, Chris? I ain't seen you wear that shit once. <laughs> you just store it in your bunk forever? <laughs> uh... I don't know, dude. Maybe he only wears it for his waifu pillow. It's like a special thing. Now his pillow's gonna get jealous that he's out there swiping around on Tinder, right? Chris Trucker's such a catch. <laughs> uh, who wouldn't want to be a part of this? <laughs> I had never seen that damn thing before. It was crumpled and covered in dust of both the natural and the cheesy variety. <laughs> Uh, he's too suave, ladies and gentlemen. And tucked away in some shameful pocket of his belongings where the sun hath never shone before. And I pondered why a guy who obsessed over combing his three hairs across his balding chrome dome 
didn't just wear the damn thing when he went out and call it a day instead. Uh, I never asked that question, though. I just looked at him incredulously. That was his big lady magnet. I sighed and shook my head. <laughs> I didn't realize that Chris Trucker had a chrome dome. Yeah, if that's the case, then why not wear a hat? It's already too late, man. <laughs> just, just give it up. Why are you trying to play around with the comb over? You ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> really, Chris? A hat. That's what's going to win over every lady on your dating site? Bro, a hat is just a head covering. It's a piece of goddamn cloth. It says nothing about who you are or what you're like or why somebody would ever be attracted to you. It's just an accessory, man. It's not a personality trait or some bold statement about your character. <laughs> Depending who you ask, I suppose that's true. Although, I do see it as somewhat of a personality trait. If I see somebody walking around with a fedora on, I'm going to tread very, very carefully. <laughs> I don't think I want anything to do with that fedora guy. <laughs> Just please stay away from me. If you can prove that you're, you're a normal dude, maybe we could hang out. But if you're wearing a fedora, you're probably never going to get the chance to prove that you're a normal dude. Like, I'll, I'll just run in the other direction. I'll be like, nope, can't be seen with that shit. <laughs> Is it just a head covering? Yeah, mostly. But it has taken on a life of its own. We can both admit that, can't we? Anyways, Chris just chuckled and called me a, a stupid, naive child. And said, no, it's not just a hat. It's what I'm gonna do with it. Oh, he's gonna take his pants off and use the hat to cover his junk? <laughs> Why does my mind keep going in these directions? Why can't I undo what has been done inside my brain? Just make it stop! <laughs> and honestly, after he called me a naive child and shit, I'd be like, alright, take your own pictures. I could feel panic set in as I envisioned Chris stripping naked and hanging the hat on the tip of his stubby little boner. <laughs> well, he asked me to snap a photo. <laughs> uh, at least Honker Donkers and I are on the same page. Please tell me that's not what actually happened, though. Please. <laughs> I asked him, what are you going to do with it? Choking back abject terror. He placed it firmly atop his balding head, struck a pose that revealed the entirety of his blubbery profile, tilted his head down, and seized the brim in his greasy little sausage finger. He gave it a judicious tip, wrought his lips into a smug smirk, and peeked out from underneath the brim of that accessory and into the camera lens as slyly as he possibly ever could. Smugly, he said, It's not about the hat. It's about the hatitude. <laughs> Uh, the attitude. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've been stabbed in the guts. <laughs> oh, I know he read that on a bumper sticker or some shit. He put that one in his back pocket. He's like, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. Hatitude. <laughs> Uh, oh, Hattitude. Oh, you just wait until the Teespring Hattitude hat drops. <laughs> it just says nothing but Hattitude in impact font. <laughs> uh, help me, Jesus. Bro, Jesus left a long time ago. I, I don't know if he's coming back, honestly. <laughs> we have been abandoned. <laughs> The headache was coming on and fast. I asked Chris if he ever tried that on a woman before, and if he did, did it ever work to seduce her? He thought real hard about that, and then he said, yeah, he tried it many, many times in the years gone by, and that sometimes it even did work. 
Yeah, there's no way in hell that I could believe that. <laughs> Me either. You think a woman's panties are gonna drop over attitude? Oh god. I think her ovaries are gonna shrivel up and die. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I decided to qualify that question. <laughs> so I asked my follow-up question. How many of these women did you have to pay money? Um, I think all of them. <laughs> so yes, their ovaries shriveled up, but they still decided to go to bed with Chris because he offered them money. Does he not understand that, like, that's the main motivation for the, the lot lizards? Or does he think that they, like, actually like him? Does he have some sort of, like, social development problem? I mean, obviously, but how severe is it, is what I need to ask. I got a lot of questions. I got so many questions about Chris. I hope that we do get a 33-part series. I hope this is the longest series on the channel and we learn everything there is to know about the poopy coo man. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it, Chris. <laughs> lot lizards can look past a lot of stuff when there's money on the line. <laughs> uh, Chris, did it ever work on a woman who you didn't have to pay? The answer was a resounding and sad, no. <laughs> uh, there you go. So maybe we put the attitude aside for just a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe he's actually tried it on like a, a person who wasn't working. <laughs> he's like, yeah, this is gonna work. That girl at Walmart, she's gonna be all over me once I show her my attitude. And she's like asking the security guy to escort her to the car. <laughs> just keep that stinky guy away from me. <laughs> and so... I concluded, if it never worked on a woman that you don't have to pay, what makes you think that hat will score you a date off of Tinder? <laughs> I don't know, Tinder thoughts or something. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Chris. Even Tinder thoughts have standards, okay? <laughs> uh, he thought real hard about that. He was grappling for some excuse. Any rationale which he could foster as to why I was wrong and just being a dick and purposely pissing in his Cheerios today. But he couldn't think of any actual counter to my logic and just insistently struck his pose again, this time with a little more oomph in his motion. <laughs> uh, everyone Vogue. Mmm, 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 Vogue. <laughs> Uh, so yes, <laughs> all this as if to suggest that if Chris just tipped his hat harder, all the ladies would come a-running. <laughs> uh, this is how he gets himself through his day, with loads and loads of delusion. I sighed, took the picture, and offered him back his phone. The deed done. And I hope never to have to do another favor for the poopy coo man again, regardless of how benign it appeared on the surface. <laughs> I mean, this is just like getting his foot in the door, you know? What's the next favor he's going to ask you? Start doing favors for neckbeards? Boy, that's a slippery slope. <laughs> As I reached for my sanitizing wipes to cleanse whatever crusted juices upon that screen had transferred themselves to my hand, he said, oh, Wait, I want to take a couple more. Bro, just, just let me take it on my phone. I'll share it to you. I don't really want to uh, share juices with you, Chris. I don't want to touch your phone, bro. I know what happens with you and your phone late at night. <laughs> That's why I bought the air horns, member? <laughs> why, Chris? You've got your profile pic, just leave me the hell alone. Well, he explained that apparently you could upload multiple pictures. 
and he wanted a profile picture that was sure to smite any lady who looked at him and kindle burning, furious passion within her loins. <sighs> if the profile picture wasn't going to do that, then I don't know what hope you have with the other pictures, okay? <laughs> it's true, uh, if you upload more pictures to Tinder, your chances are better, but what's zero times zero, okay? <laughs> you don't stand a chance, Chris. Just give it up, man. You gotta work on yourself before you go, like, assaulting people's eyes on the internet. <laughs> I cringed, and I died, but... Morbid curiosity had seized me, and I was powerless to say no. <sighs> All right then, Chris. What's next? See? See? This is how it goes. If you give a beer to Tendi, he's gonna want some sauce. <laughs> Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Give a mouse a cookie? It's probably more popular than I think, right? Everybody's mom read them that book, right? So, Chris thought about it. <laughs> Chris, thinking, yeah, right. <laughs> he had a bunch of ideas, and I humored them all. <laughs> uh, we are gonna get the Chris Trucker neckbeard calendar, aren't we? It's even gonna have bonus photos. <laughs> Just like three extra months in there. Can we, can we have it, Honker Dockers? Would you let me do it, please? <laughs> I'll split the profits with you 50-50, okay? <laughs> uh, so we all went outside and the poopy cum man's sweat pooled in his damp armpits as I snapped a photo of him pretending to work on the truck while the hood was up in his hat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a big strong man, ladies. I know about trucks, and I wear the fedora. <laughs> oh God, take me now, Poopy Coom man. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, he struck a strong man pose and kissed his gelatinous bicep while wearing his hat. <laughs> uh, the hat really is the clincher, isn't it? And then when I thought we were finally done, we went back inside the truck cab, and him, sweaty and heaving and disgusting as ever, decided that he needed one last picture to show just how much of an alpha male he truly was. Oh god, we are gonna get the boudoir photos, aren't we? Uh, I take it back, I never wanted this! <laughs> you get exactly what you asked for. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody out there on Tinder, <laughs> they're definitely going to delete the app after coming across Chris. You're gonna be like, nope, I can't. My eyes, my brain, <laughs> I don't want this anymore. <laughs> he told me, one second. And he went to his bunk, searching for something. His crusty sheets fell to the floor, and when he turned around, positively beaming, he clutched in his hands a sheath. Oh my god, dude. Katana. <laughs> it's a katana, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, dude. Uh, how did you not know that he had this? Where's all this shit coming from? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god, that's good cringe. I started up with a, what the fuck? <laughs> Why does he have a sword in the truck cab? To which he replied, it was in case we were ever attacked. <laughs> it's by his shotgun, bro. <laughs> and I wondered to myself, how effective the poopy coo man who got winded just from climbing back into the truck would ever be. In a violent situation, bro, he would he would piss all over himself. He would crumple up into a little ball. He'd forget that the sword was even there. I guarantee it. <laughs> Dude is such a fucking wuss. He just wants to feel like an alpha male. He's like, yeah, I'm the biggest, baddest dude. Please don't shoot me in the face. Whatever, put all your stuff in this bag. 
<laughs> I got to go. I don't think any sane person would actually rob a trucker, because most of them do have shotguns, right? <laughs> Not just katanas. Honka doggers, you got a shotgun or something under your mattress? Tell me it's not just a katana that we have to defend ourselves here. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> he brushed off my concern about the blade being in the cab, however, and pulled it from its sheath. He gripped in his hands a Japanese katana. It's steel, masterfully folded, 10,000 times over itself by the most accomplished sword shop smiths in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, that's some mall ninja shit. That's what I'm about. <laughs> Watch me parkour and throw a ninja star into a kindergarten. <laughs> Uh, it was time for his greatest heroics yet, and he held the hilt of the sword to his crotch, the blade hanging out, erect like a metal phallus. Really? <laughs> uh, this is what's gonna work for you? He looked over his shoulder back at me, where I sat, grimacing in pain, and holding the camera. Very subtle, very subtle indeed. I think that Mommy Honker Donkers is, is partially enjoying the cringe just as much as we are. He's got to be somewhat of a masochist as well to agree to something like this, right? <laughs> Chris bared his yellowing teeth at me, the hapless photographer, who was forced to catalog this dumpster fire of a person for his online dating profile. <sighs> Let the train wreck commence. Uh, the train wreck started a long time ago. Now we're just like in the middle of it, right? <laughs> and you can't jump back out of a train wreck once it started. <laughs> My leg is stuck in the middle. We're gonna be here until we dead. <laughs> I handed him back his phone, glad that the deed was done, and seized upon my wet wipes. You're gonna need something stronger than that, bro. Pure bleach. <laughs> <laughs> when at last I felt comfortable and scouring my hands of whatever filth lingered on that device, I returned to my own screen to play my derpy games. There goes Mommy Honka Dunk is on that Genshin Impact tip, right? <laughs> See you all look down your nose at Chris for playing the waifu games. But what's that right there? That's a waifu game, Honka Donkers! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me wind it back. I don't mean to come at you like that. <laughs> Third day not smoking, I'm... <laughs> I just want to scream at something! The Poopy Coon Man was proud of his provocative pictures and crowed as he flipped through the gallery. Eventually, when he realized that I was as disinterested as ever and didn't want to look at how great they came out, he settled back into the co-pilot's chair to finish up his online dating profile. At least he kind of took a, a clue, right? Or did he? He's just getting closer because <laughs> because you weren't showing interest? That's not going to make my interest peak. It's just going to remind me that you smell horrible. Leave me alone! <laughs> and then presumably, the poopy coo man would try to find a lady of his own. It didn't take long for him to exclaim with excitement, Ah, oh, fuck yeah! I did it! Naughty? Baka! That's like the time that this applies the most out of the entire series. Because <laughs> you are stupid. You completed the profile, but it's going to come to nothing. I hate to tell you, Chris. My curiosity peaked once again, and I leaned over to see what he was so excited about. Apparently, someone liked his stuff. No way! No way! My suspension of disbelief has been just shattered. <laughs> <laughs> Who's out there liking Chris Drucker's profile? And so quickly, nonetheless. Uh-uh, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think so. Do things like this happen in real life? I've never been on Tinder, like, literally, so I have no idea. I'm, I'm actually asking. <laughs> Is it tough for dudes out there on Tinder comment section? Let me know. Now's the time. Air your grievances! <laughs> <laughs> he turned his phone to me and showed me the girl who had responded to him liking her profile. I was gobsmacked. 
The girl who would like this stuff was a 10 out of 10 blonde little bombshell with huge mommy honker donkers. <laughs> Humongous hunger longer no no logongus. He said it! He said it! Oh, too bad. It's a bot. <laughs> uh, Chris doesn't know about bots on dating profiles. Oh boy. She's gonna be like, how about you send me some money, big boy? He'll be like, yeah, how much do you need? <laughs> God. She belonged on the cover of a goddamn swimsuit magazine or or maybe Playboy. Something was amiss. How? How could that happen to Chris? I asked him. Uh, well, I've just been swiping right on everybody, right? Because I figure all these women are the same anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're just identical clothes of each other. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Big tits, small tits, blonde hair, brown hair. <laughs> You're all the same, basically. <laughs> uh, he sounds like M, essentially. This is like the one and only take that neckbeards have. They think all women are cut from the same cloth, when really, it is they who are cut from the same cloth. <laughs> the neckbeard cloth. The stinkiest, poopy, coomy cloth there is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the more likes I put out there, the more likely it is that someone would like me back. Hey, look at that! I got a freaking supermodel who wants to talk to me! And I know, I know what you're thinking. She's not Japanese, Chris. Well, that doesn't matter, because she's hot as hell. And I totally tongue fuck her love canal. Uh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> uh, never say that again. <laughs> it's not as bad as Tongue Puncher Fart Box, but it is right up there. <laughs> uh, not to mention the fact that she's a she's a robot, Chris. You gotta get yourself electrocuted as thick your tongue in the in the socket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, what what woman out there doesn't want to have her vagina called a, a, a love canal or a meat muffin? <laughs> uh, I just, I just, I can't, dude. <laughs> Knowing that it's a bot makes it slightly more palatable to me. Or, or maybe it's just a good old catfish. Whatever the case, Chris is going to lose some money on this, I'm pretty sure. Now, I wanted to interject for multiple reasons, principally tone, but perhaps more obviously this, that Chris was an absolutely disgusting piece of human detritus. No woman worth anything on the sexual market would willingly fawn over a guy like him when there were quite literally plenty of fish that weren't rotting away out there in the sea. <laughs> yeah. Chris is bottom of the barrel, as far as I'm concerned. I'm pretty sure this dude will be on Tinder for years and never get liked by anybody except for bots. <laughs> Something was amiss. It had to be a scammer or a robot or, or something. You nailed it, honka donkers. That's my first impression, too. I refused. I refused to believe that the girl with the big honker donkers and the brilliant smile and the statuesque appearance of beauty was actually interested in fucking the poopy coom man. <laughs> uh, oh, this horrifying. Can you believe it? I don't believe it. My brain won't let me process that either. Something is, is rotten here, and it's not just the poopy coom. I brought this up to him, of course. Was he cruising to get himself hurt by believing that somebody like that was interested in him? Yes. Was he going to listen to my sagely words of wisdom that I was about to convey to him? Well? Chris, my guy, let me ask you a question. The world is full of people who are much better looking than either you or I. And I mean this as nicely as I can, but 
you are rife with faults. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're making the situation all that much better here, Honka Dockers. <laughs> the odds of an actual supermodel tier woman expressing sexual interest in you is slim to null. What makes you think that she's even a real person? Dude, I could go take a picture of Pamela freaking Anderson. Uh, people still think she's attractive, right? Is my age showing? <laughs> Whatever. You get the point. God, that is so 90s and I love it. That was like 30 years ago, bro. Jesus Christ. Time is passing me by. <laughs> and I could make a profile on that site right now and probably get tons of guys eating out of my hand for whatever nefarious purposes I've dreamed up. So, do you really believe that she's interested in you? Oh my god. You're, you're trying to give him a reality check? I'm pretty sure that his brain is going to implode. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he's into robots. Fisto says, assume the position. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. Of course, Chris Trucker's ego holds strong, and he responds to Honker Donkers, Dude, of course she's interested in me. I've got the chattest profile on the whole website. <laughs> uh, please, please never say that about yourself. It's like automatic proof of the exact opposite. Have you seen how good those pictures came out? <laughs> And besides, my profile is an absolute banger. She probably looked at it and recognized how cultured I was, since half of it is talking about Japanese stuff. She's going to be the first girl I bet down of many, dude. God, he is just so perpetually optimistic, is he not? Do you actually believe this? Is this an ego defense technique? He can't possibly believe this, right? <laughs> My mind is blown. I didn't know internet dating was so easy. Look, there's another one who matched me too. And dude, she's Asian. I'm hitting the damn jackpot. Oh, sweet, simple Chris. Well, not really sweet. But definitely simple. Oh, simple, simple Chris. <laughs> uh, uh, Jesus, dude. He furiously typed something and then passed me the phone. I could see the conversation well enough with the new girl who had expressed some interest in Chris. Chris's picture of him wielding a sword dong had a message beside it, which said, Boshi Boshi. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's how you answer the phone, not start a text message string. But okay, go off, I guess. <laughs> and you could see the ellipses signifying that the other side was typing something back. Admittedly, the girl was somewhat cute, though in a relatively plain way, and she was on the heavier side for my tastes, but that didn't matter. It was someone who might actually be within Chris's league if he, you know cleaned himself and his act up, and I surmised that she was factually not a bot or a hacker or whatever the hell the guy pretending to be the supermodel girl was. Oh my god, he actually found a real girl? In what amount of time is this? In the same day? Doubtful, bro. Not Chris, bro. <laughs> I don't think so. Unless Tinder out there in Corpus Christi, Texas is really, really slim pickings. <laughs> I got hopeful for a second. Some real interaction with a woman who wasn't a prostitute might actually do that weirdo some good. But to my chagrin, Chris had already failed anyways. A text came back saying, um, I'm Korean. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is why we just, you just say hello. How are you? <laughs> Try a stupid pickup line from Reddit if you really don't care. I mean, maybe you could still save it, Chris, if you know how to say hello in Korean, but you know he don't know. He's a weeaboo, not a Koreaboo. 
<laughs> so I handed the foe back to Chris. His glee turned to sadness and then to anger as he furiously typed and he started ranting and raving about those damn budget store Asians. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, well, <laughs> That has gone completely out the window, has it not? Jesus Christ, it hurts. Oh, it, I guess it didn't deter him, though, from trying his moves. <laughs> so he didn't say that to her. He's being completely two-faced right here, which is, I guess, what we should expect from neckbeards. <laughs> Can't believe this dude was gonna blow it like two messages or less. <laughs> That's an achievement, honestly. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> he got up from where he sat and went to the back, mumbling that he needed to send her a picture. Oh no. No! Chris! Airhorn! Where is it? Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> Make him stop! <laughs> uh, I can't save him from himself, honestly. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so not good. Oh no! Uh, I told him that I wasn't gonna take any more of him, and he said, That's fine. He didn't need my help for this one, and I didn't need to help him. I heard him rustling around back there, and what really caught my attention was singing metal as the samurai sword left its sheath. Is he like holding it next to his dick? <laughs> for a size comparison. <laughs> it doesn't even get past like the first little rap on the handle. <laughs> what are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I look back to see what was going on. That was a mistake. Chris had dropped his trousers and stood there. <laughs> he actually did. It's a size comparison. <laughs> Uh, he stood there comparing the hilt of the sword to his puny little boner as he snapped a photo. <laughs> what and why? The worst part? He didn't even close the fucking curtain. <laughs> uh, oh, God. This is awful. This is awful. How can we undo? <laughs> I have many regrets about everything that's happened here today. Uh, Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, to be perfectly fair, Chris Tucker never closes the curtain, from what I can recall. <laughs> uh, you think he calls this Dick Demon Slayer or something like that? <laughs> He's got a name for his sword and his sidearm. <laughs> <laughs> My dick isn't small. This is just the largest katana in the world. <laughs> uh, and really, he's over here still seething about budget store Asians. Let me tell you something. Japanese culture is going the way of the dinosaurs, all right? Philippines, Korean culture, that's the way of the future. Maybe even Chinese culture. I live out here in the Far East, all right? <laughs> Japan's lost its grip. <laughs> Korea is what, what it's all about these days. I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to tell you, Chris, but you need to let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, go. Well, the shutter clicked, and that cursed image was taken and sent to that poor little Korean girl from... God knows where. I mean, she's probably actually from Korea. You know Chris set his search radius to, like, worldwide or some shit like that? <laughs> I hate everything that's happening right now. We should have never let him on the internet, honestly. I just turned around cursing and screaming at him to never, ever drop his pants in the truck again. And he just told me to shut up while he tried to score with this random girl on the internet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna work. If the Moshi Moshi didn't get her, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Katana dick pic isn't gonna, <laughs> isn't gonna bring it on home for you. <laughs> he hadn't even been speaking to her for that long. 
as far as I knew, he just said Moshi Moshi got called out because she wasn't actually Japanese, and then he sent her a photo of his boner next to a freaking sword hilt. <laughs> Uh, this whole thing is a mess, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Eventually, Chris came back up to the cab, grumbling and cursing about how that stupid bitch blocked him. <laughs> uh, and how a fatty like her didn't deserve an alpha male like him anyways. Bro, are you, like, going by elephant seal rules or the fattest, biggest dude rules? <laughs> That's not generally how it works in human social circles, all right? You could actually go on a diet, Chris. You could get slimmer, have some more respect for yourself. And then maybe some women would have respect for you. They would be able to laugh off the moshi moshi thing instead of being like, ew, gross. Why did she swipe on him anyways? Ugh, oh, I hope that girl learns to value herself some more. He was just trying to give her that moshi motion of the moshi ocean, right? <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, kill me now! <laughs> uh, he wasn't about to settle for anything less than his perceived value on the sexual market. Oh no! Well, guess what? Nobody cares about your perceived value. Perceived value is all about other people's perceptions. Chris, did nobody teach him this? Did nobody- somebody sit down, have a conversation with him? <laughs> this is so horrible. Once more, I tried to reason with the guy, saying, Chris, don't you think you should at least wait before they express a little interest in you, before you start sending them photos of your dong? Yeah, logic to a beard? <laughs> that ain't working. I don't know if she wanted to see it or not. You just kind of assumed and sent it. And that'll put anybody off, man. You gotta feel things out. He, of course, thought this line of reasoning was ridiculous. He was on a dating site, which to him read as a fucking site which meant that anybody and everybody who liked his profile clearly wanted to have a plow with him. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you have your brain melted by meth, when you hang out with nothing but lot lizards who do want to have a plow with you, but only so they can get a payday out of it, right? His perspective is just so skewed. Oh, you need to go on a dopamine cleanse, Chris. All right, just just stop with the phone, stop with the everything. Nothing but but reading books and getting your mind right once again. You've poisoned yourself. You've poisoned yourself and and you need to reset. I still feel that like some of this is really sad to watch, honestly. Surely Chris would get his juju flowing by showing off his wiener to arouse his potential mate. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> All of a sudden, the jerking off in the back of the truck made some weird, sordid sense. But I pushed the thought from my mind. I'm glad you were able to push the thought out of your mind. I, I, I'm unable to. This has just poisoned me for life. <laughs> well, Chris wouldn't have it, it seemed, and he repeated this process with the next few homely ladies that dared to like his profile. Man, maybe Chris is more of a player than I thought. First day, and he's out here, like, getting matches and shit? What? <laughs> I don't think that's how it really works on Tinder. Is this, is this okay, Cupid? Is this plenty of fish? There's lots of dating sites. Are we sure it's Tinder? Because I think if you, if you like everybody on Tinder, then your rating goes down. And, like, the less likes you get, the less likely Tinder is to show you to potential people, right? I think that's how it goes. There's an algorithm to it. You gotta please the algorithm before you get to please the ladies, right? So yeah, I think Chris is shooting himself in the foot with the algorithm with the thing that he's doing. Eventually, he's gonna have to make a new profile. I, I think. That's how it works, right? I haven't studied too much on it, but I've heard things. I heard some stuff. <laughs> Each one seemed to result in a block to absolutely nobody's surprise but Chris. The only one who didn't block him 
was that bottle blonde supermodel girl who he happily informed me liked the pictures of his dong. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> and then went on a tangent talking about how she was working on a missionary trip over in Africa, but her wallet got stolen and she needed emergency funds or something or other down at the embassy. Oh, yep. Not a bot, just, just a good old-fashioned scammer. <laughs> He's gonna fall for it, 100%. Oh, Chris, I wish I could feel worse for you, but I just don't. Everybody warned you, all the signs were there. If you were just being honest with yourself. It almost makes me miss the days of Nigerian princes. I'm sure in Chris's mind, this was the guaranteed way to get into any woman's pants. Yeah, just as soon as she gets back from fucking Africa. What? <laughs> You're really up there with the investment, aren't you, Chris? Either way you slice it, he's paying to get laid. <laughs> Why not just go for the sure thing? Oh, whatever. It's your life, okay? Live it how you want. After all, with all the seedy truck stop harlots he's hired before, money offered immediately equaled available vagina. When he told me this, I told him that he should probably just ignore her from then on out. Yeah, exactly. Why are you gonna do this to yourself? It's good to help your fellow man, but maybe help out somebody who uh, is being honest with you. Who's gonna lose their wallet, but still have their phone, and then get on Tinder in order to find somebody that will send them funds? Like, if you have your phone, why wouldn't you call... I don't know, your, your grandpa, your mom, your brother. <laughs> Instead, she got on Tinder? I'm not buying it, dude. There's so many holes in this story. Make it stop. To anybody with an ounce of sense, it seemed like a scam. But to Chris, well, this was just how online dating worked, I guess. <laughs> I fished out his wallet got his credit card, and asked his honey boo-boo where he needed to send a tidy sum of money. You can imagine that that reply came very quickly. And then you reported it, right? Y you, you saved him from himself, OP, right? Tell me I'm right. <laughs> well, I can't tell you how much our mystery mission worker asked of Chris, but I can tell you that as soon as he confirmed to her that the money got sent, he got angry. I guess she stopped talking to him not long after the transfer was approved. I rolled my eyes and said, I told you so. To which he presented a whole lot of cope. She's probably just on her way to the embassy right now, dude. Wait, did you send her the credit card number or did he? That part's a little bit confusing. I hope that you weren't the one to do it. <laughs> just pull the trigger and be like, all right, let me show you with your money that this is a scam. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a friendly thing to do now, does it? But okay, I, I guess he's learning. Great. To which I informed him that it was probably the middle of the night wherever she was in Africa, and that it was unlikely that the government offices would be open. Oh, there, go there goes some more of that logic. Please! <laughs> Beards and logic do not mix. He can't even comprehend what you're saying right now. It's like trying to teach a dog Esperanto, all right? <laughs> they understand some words, but they can't piece together a sentence. Well, he continued to cope, telling me that hey, she probably went to bed. Okay, Chris. It's more like they got cash out of you, and they're going to stop stringing you along for now until they decide that they need more money and decide to hit you up for it. Exactly. Either way, was it my problem? If sending copious amounts of money to Nigerian princesses was Chris's thing, I wasn't going to stop him. It was his money to waste, after all, and he clearly didn't want to hear my advice about it. Ugh. I, I mean, you can't save somebody from themselves. You know, lead a horse to water and watch it die of thirst. That's what I'm talking about. When we finally did get our call from dispatch and had to go pick up a container, we started on our merry way back down the road to California. Chris was glued to the screen. I imagine he was just spamming, Please respond! <laughs> to this bottle blonde bombshell down in the jungles of Africa. 
Since I was driving first that shift, things passed in relative calm and quiet because Chris was now smitten with Tinder. I mean, I guess that's good. I'm surprised he's not trying to polish the knob while scrolling through her profile. Thank God for that much. He was desperately changing his zip code up whenever he ran out of people to look for new and unwitting victims, which the poopy coon man could spam his katana dick pic to. <laughs> it's just the same pic he sends to everybody. God, these women ain't even special to him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's probably enough for today. I gotta get back out there on the road here. I'll come back again and tell you another story about Chris when I get some more time. Well, I want to know what the outcome for the, the bottle blonde bombshell is. How does this situation end with Chris crying, probably, coming to a realization that nobody will ever be interested in him? <laughs> on a trucker's salary sending this chick money yeah you're gonna be like sol in no time do you think chris even has a savings i, I bet he doesn't it's all spent on lot lizards and methamphetamine <laughs> this is so sad honestly it does break my heart but also he's such a dick he's such a useless tool that yeah you do have to let some people learn their own lessons. And OP tried to talk him out of it, at least a little bit. He's like, hey, dude, I don't know if it's a good idea. Hey, dude, <laughs> you probably shouldn't spam your dick pic to people. But Chris just never listens. He's on his own program 100%. So, yeah, I guess we just have to let this thing run its course. And hopefully it will sink into his brain somehow that this situation is nowhere close to real. <laughs> Until until he gets another bot or scammer or whatever. God damn, this is so sad. I think I talked about this in the uh the Philly Cheese Jake saga. <laughs> and like, yeah, while I hate scammers, I also hate neckbeards like just that little bit more. Because essentially he would be using her for his own sexual devices if she wasn't using him for her own monetary devices. So you guys are both just horrible. You deserve each other. She's winning out in the end because, yeah, she's located somewhere in Africa. <laughs> Doesn't ever have to give up the booty of this imaginary picture girl that she ain't even have. So yeah, Chris Trucker, gonna get taken for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> and it ain't even his shift to drive or, or some joke like that. Insert a punchline here. My brain's too full of uh, just screeching for nicotine to really come up with too many good jokes. But I hope that the episode was enjoyable. So thank you for watching it, friends. I do hope you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy, maybe share it around. That would be pretty cool. We got all kinds of links down in the description. Oh, plugs, playlists, podcasts. Yeah. Come on through. I do appreciate it. We've also uh, got a Twitch where we live stream this thing. We have like all kinds of tangents and whatnot. I talk about my real life. We go to some random subreddits and stuff like that. It's, it's a pretty good time, honestly. Much different from the, like the fully edited content, uh, just if that's what you're into. We've also got my social medias, you know, Twitter, Discord, Facebook. We've also got my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons over on Patreon, whom I would like to thank Jerry, Jerry much. Uh, so thank you. Why not being Jerry? Dark Luscious, Harley Owen, Repentant Squirrel, Robin Elwitz, Camille Sarah, Chance of Blue Kraken, Malama Man, <laughs> to the Lava Man, Roxanne Wolf, Sip Jerry, Conrad Inge, Captain Clown Jerry, Destiny Piper, Aaron Jerry, Alexis Smith, Esteban, For All Lang Syne, Jerry Crusader, Jerry Svolt. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Might be the end for I Wary. No! I <laughs> gave me Steve B. Tom with a bag of bottles with that, that one, Jerry. Beg for forgiveness. Didn't even get fucked, though. <laughs> Silent Revolver, PCB, the original Jerry. Jerry! Take Jerry, Jerry's Kasuna, to 11 Jerry, the two Jerry's. A very tired Jerry. I feel it. A Jesse Dardonian Jerry. And Frankenberry. That's a hiding bitch, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, Aspen XO, Assassin's Bug Jerry, Bang Bang, Aurora Wildheart, Grizzly, Baby Jerry, Bailey Joy, Peter Jerry, Bitch Family, Blade Hero, Blip Blue Jerry, Catholic Jerry, Chelsea Katsuna, Commander J Tank, Confederate Jew, Dennis Dayton, Dr. Lux, Duck, Just Duck, Emergent Jewel, Air and Air, East Price 50, Frozen Number Studio, Fire Drake, Gypsy, Hadrian BR, I'm Slim Jerry, yes, I'm the real Jerry, Irish Pirates, Made Port to find a stowaway, but I had no way anger when I heard the frightful shriek of a beard she. Wee! <laughs> Iron Allo, Aurelia the Jam, Itchy Nuts, Dispatch Bro, A Pimp Named J Crisp, JM Coon, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Nice, Jerry Evil, Jerry Dial on the Trucker, Jerry Beans, Now Green Apple, Jerry Berry Flavors, John Hero, John, Jerry Jingleheimer Schmidt, Oh my God, this is my name too, Crowhee, Cuddly Cracking, Legitimate Earth, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry, Like and Subscribe, Milady Nix, the next to the last Jerry Bender. <laughs> 
Mom says Red X can't pronounce the Naruto. Naruto. I have to sit here and take this. Oh yes, I do because you're a patron. Say whatever you need to. <laughs> Melgar the Destroyer. Metal Gun. Needless King 89. Nightmare Jerry Paragon Soul. Phantom of the Pines. Jerry Kinsey Jerry Bat. Queens Quaaludes with Plague Myers. Ramtide Lacrimage. Rose Jerry Miller. T.S.M. Kirby. Serena the Lolita. Sassy Octopus. Scarlet Kevin. Serena Moore. Sergeant Gaycock. Bring up the law. Silo Wim. Seventy Good Nurse. Nine Nine. Boomstick. Brilliant. Tomato. Tabby. Old Blue. Tater Fair. Tenth Monster. The Italian Greyhound. Dino. Little Lizzie. Who are you, Fusky? Trying to find another mob to get back to the real world. Hey. Oh, you probably want to blow into that balloon, not unbusy. Re three prime. Vanguard Angel. Viking Jerry. Void the Comet Destroyer. Oh snap! Look out! You're gonna see it down there. Wiki text. Will Mags. Zephyr the Gargoyle or Clay. It's Jerry time. Ultra Red X Morpher. Self reflection. <laughs> Comrade Mooney. Kira. Not another Jerry, but he is though. Redwood. Knocked by for Saint Plus and Third Stuff. Venom Jerry. Jace Christensen. One like Jerry's leg was stolen by Pisson. Uh, normal Jerry. Active transformation. Belt. Einstein. Tolman Rider. Beard Grease. Admiral T Tank. Emerald Alder. Another stupid hipster. Tom and Jerry Zilla. Babsy Coon. Bartender Keeler. Blueberry and Apple Pie. <laughs> Broken Spine. Horse Radish. The original different Jerry. That's Cake Jerry. California Jerry Girl. Shepherd Seven Lock. Chicago Panda. Cody. Secretly a Jerry operative. Cory does art. Sometimes. <laughs> Corporal Admiral. Lieutenant Princess. Ariel Furry. Wee Wee Jerry. Something like that. Crypt Titties. The crazy. AKA SCI Jerry. The Fawn Jerry. Death Tuna. Dopamine Dane. Jerry is. Dwarfy Dude. Ghost of Alpha. He cannot. Jane and Jerry. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jerry Alta. Rivia. Jerry and Tom versus Happy New Year's. Wherever you pop Jerry the Sussy Baka. Jerry's mom has got it going on. Check out the mustache on Jerry Old Rivera. Jerry Roxas. Jerry role playing game. Judge Jerry and Executioner. King Tails. Kid Marvelous. The Feather of the Innocent. Enemy to the Bearded. Kids and Kid Life of Guardian. Little Land Woods. Lucia Lovecraft. Mama Machia. CD. Maybe next time. Milk Fed Get Miss Duchess. Not Invisible Angel. Raptor Art. Seldom Dark. She's my Jerry Pie. Sky Mara Ravenswood. Snary. That's Snom Jerry. Snowman. What's his best in life? To crush your neck beards. To put them feet to Jesus. To hear the lamentations of their body pillow. <laughs> Smoothie the Rogue, Spooky Scary Jerry Todd, Techno Dubs, the original Jerry, not to Infinity Jerry and beyond. Joy on the way. Unkale, underwater movies, formerly the X Card. Unfortunate Jerry screaming the Nookie's latest magical girl transformation, make it stop. Throws two liter Mountain Dew. Grow my neck beard, grow. It's Jerry time. Holds Red X Morpher. Hygiene. It's Jerry time. Holds Red X Morpher. Humility. <laughs> and of course, thank you to my gorgeous one dollar patrons as well. Thank you to all the Jerry's and not Jerry's alike. I'm gonna be updating that list tomorrow. You know, we had uh, it's a bit shorter <laughs> this time around. I'm just waiting for like the the extra payments to come through, you know, but no pressure if you want to help out That's cool. If you can't right now, that's also cool I just appreciate you coming on through hanging out with me I hope that you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow in order to do so you need to keep yourself safe out there Wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today Maybe like uh, watching some more Red X videos, right? Right? That's right <laughs> <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy.